Okay. So here, uh, we have 50 milliliters of 2 molar HNL2 with a Ka of 4 times 10 to the negative fourth, and we're titrating it with 1 molar KOH. Uh, so for the initial, so we, we're going to do for each step, or really each one of these things, we're going to do uh, write the initial reaction. We're going to construct an ice table. We're going to determine the major species, and we're going to calculate the pH. Okay. So let's do that. So first of all, if we just have HNO2 in solution, right? We just have HNO2, so HNO2 plus H2O is going to be in equilibrium with H3O plus plus NO2 minus, okay? So this is at the beginning. So we haven't added any KOH yet. We haven't added any KOH yet. Okay, so R is this. The initial concentrations. Well, the initial caution of HNO2 is 2 molar. So 2 molar. Uh, we're not worried about that one. And then this one is 0 and 0. Then the change, it's going to shift to the right. So we're going to get minus X. Not worried about this one. Plus X, plus X. Then the equilibrium concentrations. 2 minus x, not worried about that one, x and x. Okay, so uh, determine the major species. So the major species are going to be uh, basically this one, this one, and this one. And in order to calculate the pH at the beginning, we're just using the Ka statement. So the Ka is 4 times 10 to the negative fourth. And it's equal to the product, so x and x, over the reactants. And you get 2 minus x. Uh, but we can use the 5% uh, rule or the 100 times Ka rule. Remember that if you multiply this times 100, if it's nowhere near this number here, then we're good. The original concentration, so we can ignore this. Okay, then we're just solving for x. So you have 2 times 4 times 10 to the negative fourth. And the square root of that will equal x. And that's also equal to the H3O plus concentration. Okay, so when we do that, we get oops. Uh, uh, and I get uh, 0 0.0283 and if we take the negative log of that that will give us the pH uh, let me write it down here negative log of zero point zero two eight three. You get 1.55. Okay, so whenever you, obviously, when you start a weak acid titration, pretty simple. The beginning, the initial pH is going to be the, uh, just using the Ka statement, just using the Ka statement here.
Pretty simple, right? The next part. Uh, one of the things I like to do when I look at a problem like this is I actually like to figure out where the where the equivalence point's going to be. Uh, so sometimes in these problems, they tell you to do it step by step, but really, like, I like to figure out, okay, well, where is the equivalence point? Because I know between the, fir the first time I add a little bit of base all the way to the equivalence point, we have a buffer. All right, and I know I have to do the calculations differently at that point. Okay, so in the beginning, with zero mLs, we just use the Ka. It's not a buffer yet. Okay, from anything greater than, from greater than zero milliliters, all the way to the equivalence, but not including the equivalence, We're gonna have to use it's, it's a buffer, so we'll have to use that H plus concentration equals the concentration of acid over concentration of base times K. I forgot K. Okay, so until we get to the equivalence, we're gonna be using this equation. All right, and, and it's gonna save me some time to use this equation, or you can use Henderson-Hasselbalch where pH equals pKa minus the log of acid over base. Okay, so from zero, anything more than zero milliliters to the equivalence, we get a buffer and we use this. So again, I, I like to figure out where is the equivalence point? Well, <clears throat> so here we have 0 0.05 milliliters, so liters times two molar. So that means we have 0 0.1 moles of HNO2, right? So we need 0 0.1 moles of KOH. Well, one molar times some volume will give us 0 0.1 moles. Pretty simple here. Obviously, divide by one, divide by one, we get volume equals 0 0.1 meters. So the equivalence point will be one or 0 0.1 liters. Sorry, 0 0.1 liters. So this one right here. That's the equivalent point. So that means that all of these are buffers. And we have to use this. Okay, so let's look at that and then we'll look at how we deal with the equivalence point and then we'll also look at how we deal with anything beyond the equivalence point. Okay, so there's a bunch of different steps here. This one is begin, we just use the Ka. Then this part we're gonna use the buffers, this you use equivalence point, we're gonna do something there and then these are just going to be excess acid and then we're going to do something, or sorry, excess base and we're going to do something there. Um, we can also find actually another another good place to look for is the, um, so, so we know the equivalence point, also halfway to equivalence, so halfway to equivalence. 
pH equals pKa. And in this case, it's this one right here. It's 50. So that's halfway. It's whatever half of the equivalence point is, whatever half of this is, that would be halfway to equivalence. So pH equals pKa there. Yeah, and then these other, the last ones, we're going to have X, we're going to use the, this is all going to be excess base. Okay. Uh, so let's look at the buffers one. Just going to show you how I know I do it. I'm trying to do it the fancy way, I guess, but. I guess keep it the way I know I do it. So anyway, we have a buffer. We're gonna react some of that acid and it's gonna change the acid, that HNO2, it's gonna change it to NO2 minus, right? Okay, and then we're gonna, once we get this happening, we're gonna have a concentration of HNO2 and we're gonna have a concentration of NO2 minus. Okay, and then we're going to plug that into our Ka statement. Our Ka is the uh, HNO2, uh, the, sorry, the H plus times the NO2 minus over the HNO2. Okay. We react this with base to get the NO2 minus. Okay, and our Ka statement is still the same. I'm sorry, it's still the same, H plus times NO2 minus over HNO2, all right? And in order to figure out how much NO2 minus we have, we have to do this, we have to use this 25 milliliters of the KOE, or the 25 milliliters, so 0 0.025 uh, times the one molar, sorry, two molar, and we get um, 0 0.05 moles, each sorry no I was doing this right one molar oh my goodness one molar is uh, 0 0.025 moles of OH minus Okay, so we know we have this many moles of OH minus. It's going to react with HNO2 to form NO2 minus and water. Okay, so that means that we're going to get this many moles of NO2 minus. 0 0.025 moles of NO2 minus. Okay, that's what's here. Okay. In order to find out how much HNO2, we take the original amount. So the original amount was the uh, 50 milliliters of 2 molar. So 0 0.05 times 2 molar. And we get 0 0.1 moles. Okay, we subtract the 0 0.025 moles of OH minus, And we get 0 0.075 moles of HNO2. Oh my goodness, I don't know why I made this so difficult on myself this morning. <clears throat> so again, really, really simple here. When we have when we have the buffer part, we're just subtracting the number of OH minus from the original acid. <clears throat> and in order to find out how many co how much conjugate base we have, it's sh the, the amount of conjugate base should be equal to the amount of uh, strong acid we add. Okay, and then we can use our formula here that, that the H plus equals the concentration of the acid, so the, this 0 0.075 over 0 0.075 if you want, divided by the base, 
which is the NO2 minus, so 0 0.025 over 0 0.075 times the Ka. So times the 4 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay. Um, <clears throat> again, because these are the same, they kind of cancel each other out. So we really don't even need that. We can just do the, the amount of uh, acid over the amount of base. Okay, and that will give us this H plus concentration. Okay. Uh, the Henderson Hasselbach equation is just taking the negative log of all this. So the negative log of all this. And then you'll get the pH equals pKa uh, minus uh, the log of the acid over the base. But it's the same thing. It's the same thing. All right, and then when you do this equation here, you get 0 0.075 divided by 0 0.025 times 4 times 10, 0 to the get 1.2 times 10 to the negative 3 equals the H plus concentration. <clears throat> and the log of that, or the negative log of that, 2.9. Sorry, I was trying to do with this rice table, but I don't like I don't like using the rice table. It's just that this just makes a little more sense to me. Sorry. I should have practiced it. <clears throat> if you what I was trying to do is this. They have it right here. All this. And I, I was kind of doing it right, but then I just kind of got a little screwed up here. <laughs> Because I, I, I forgot that when you write the, like, I don't like it. So what I'll show you is they did. What I don't like is that you don't see that the, um, I was trying to combine the two things, was that I did this just fine. <clears throat> but then when you write the KA statement, the KA statement does not match this. This KA statement is not the same as what you used for the Henderson Hasselbalch or the, the equation that we've been using. And yeah, oh, sorry, the Henderson Hasselbalch is base over acid. That also screws me up too because it's opposite of the way we've been doing it. <clears throat> so just stick to the way that I've been showing you the, to do it. Use this equation. Don't use Henderson Hasselbalch. Just confuses me and you. All right, let's go look at the next part here. Okay, so um, So we have um, halfway to equivalent equivalence. Again, I know it's halfway to equivalence because the uh, number of moles of acid and number of moles of uh, base, or the number of moles of acid is equal to, sorry, the moles of base is equal to half the moles of acid that we start with. So uh, we start with 0 0.05 times 2, which is 0 0.1 moles, right, of HNO2. So we're looking at the point where we have 0 0.05 moles of KOH. That's halfway to equivalence. 
Okay, and when we do that, what's going to happen is half of the acid is going to react, and then ha and so half of it's going to be NO2 minus, and half of it's going to be acid. So we're going to have HNO2 over the base or NO2 minus, and these will be equal to one, right? So the H plus concentration is simply equal to the Ka, okay, and then pH equal to pKa. So the negative log of the H plus concentration is equal to the Ka. Okay, and then the last point in the buffer solution here, we have 0.9 milliliters of the KOH added. So 0.9 milliliters, sorry, or 90 milliliters, so 0.09 times the one molar, so we get 0 0.09 moles of OH minus. Then we have that of that original 0 0.05 times two, so that's 0 0.1 mole of HNO2, okay? Um, that means that the uh, HNO2 concentration is just this minus this, or equal to 0 0.01. Again, we actually don't really need concentration here. We just need the uh, the number of moles because the um, the liters will cancel out when we do the equation here. When we do that equation, it will cancel out. Okay, and then the concentration or the amount of NO2 minus is equal to this OH minus concentration or 0 0.09. So basically in all these buffer parts, the HNO2 concentration or the HNO2 is equal to the initial HNO2. So initial minus however much OH minus we add. And the NO2 minus concentration is equal to, or NO2, the amount of moles of NO2 is equal to the however much OH minus we add for all the buffer part, for all the buffer solution parts. So anytime you have a buffer, the HNO2, the, the acid concentration again is just the original acid minus how much OH minus we add. And then the NO2 is just equal to the OH minus we add, however many moles that we add. And we don't really need to do concentration. We don't have to add the volumes up and divide because they're going to cancel out when we use the when we use this statement. It's the H plus equals acid over base times Ka. So now the pH here, or the H plus concentration, is the acid, so 0 0.01 over 0 0.09 times the Ka. So four times 10 to the negative. And if you want to find the pH, the pH is just the negative log of this whole thing, 0 0.01 over 0 0.09 times four times 10 to the negative. Okay, so you do that log of And the pH here is 4.35. Yeah. And I forgot to do this one. This at pH equals pKa at the halfway to equivalence. And that equals 3.4. I'll write this all out neater and, and um, put it on the answer sheet for you guys. <laughs>
All right, so again, initially, just use KA, KA statement. The buffers, you're just subtracting the amount of OH minus from the original weak acid to find the new weak acid concentration. And then you're whatever, however OH, much OH minus you're adding, that's equal to the conjugate base. In order to find the pH, you have the, the uh, H plus is equal to acid over base times Ka. Again, okay, this is this is derived from the Ka statement, right? This is derived from the Ka statement. Um, now at the equivalence point, the equivalence point is a little bit tricky because now what's happened is you've reacted all of the weak acid and it's a very, it's a, it's a hard one to do. Uh, I think the equivalence point is the hardest one to do. Um, at the equivalence point, at the equivalence point, now your concentration of OH minus, or however OH minus, however much OH minus you've added, that's going to be equal to uh, the concentration of your conjugate base of the weak acid. And you're going to use that to find the pH. So what's happening here is basically this. HNO2 is reacting with OH minus, and you're going to be producing H2O plus NO2 minus. Okay? And this is going to go down to zero. This is going to go down to zero. It's all going to react. This is going to be zero and zero. Okay, and then you're going to get a concentration of this. Okay, and in this case, in this case, we do need to figure out what the concentration is. <clears throat> so here um, we have 0 0.1 milliliter or 0 0.1 liters of the KOH and uh, times one molar. That means we have one mole. Of OH minus, and that's in a total of uh, we had 50 milliliters and then 100 milliliters, so 0 0.15 liters. And again, this is going to be equal to the concentration of NO2 minus. So 1 over 0.15. So the concentration of NO2 minus is equal to 6.7 molar. Oh, sorry, it's not one mole, is it? It's 0.1 liters times one molar, so it's 0.1. I don't know where my head is at. Point six seven. That makes more sense. How could we get more? Oh my goodness. Shit, I didn't get good sleep last night. <laughs> So 0.67 molar NO2 minus. Okay, and then here we have to use the KB statement, right? KB. And so now we just have this in solution. We don't have any of this. We don't have any of this. We just have this. And we have 0.67 molar of it. So now the uh, statement is going to be NO2 minus plus H2O yields HNO2 plus OH minus. So now this is our reaction. This is what's going on in solution.
Okay, so that's R initial. Here is 0 0.67. This one we don't care. This one is 0, and this one is 0. The change, minus X, doesn't, don't care. Plus X, plus X. Equilibrium, 0 0.67 minus X, X, and X. And this is a KB statement. This is a KB statement. So the KB is equal to the products. So HNO2, so X, X, and 0 0.67 minus X, where X is equal to the concentration of OH minus, which eventually we need to find. Okay, but we're not given the KB. Right? We're given the Ka of the conjugate acid. We're given this 4 times 10 to the negative 4th. So in order to find the Kb, Kb is equal to Kw over Ka, right? It's equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14 over 4 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, so the KB here is 2.5 times 10 to negative 11. Okay, uh, so that's 2.5 times 10 to negative 11. And, uh, we can use the 5% rule or the 100 times KB rule and let's solve for X. So 2.5 times 10 to the 11 times 0.67 and take the square root of that. And I got that equal to 4 Point 0.1 times 10 to the negative 6. And that's the OH minus concentration. So that's going to get, if we take the log of that, we get the, the negative log of that, we get the POH. And the POH is 5.39. Therefore, the pH, so subtract that from 14, the pH equals 8.612, or 8.61. Okay, and you'll notice that when you titrate a a weak acid with a strong base, the pH at equivalence will always, always, always be greater than 7. It's always going to be greater than 7. It's going to be slightly basic. It's going to be slightly basic because now you have the conjugate base. You have a conjugate base. So again, let's walk through this really quickly yet slowly again. At equivalence point, <clears throat> that means that the OH minus concentration is, has neutralized all of the weak acid. So all of the weak acid, all of this HNO2 is now its conjugate base, NO2 minus. So in order to find out this concentration, we just need to figure out how much OH minus was added and the concentration of it. Okay, so we take the, the base, multiply it by the number of milliliters, okay, and then divide it by the total volume. That's what I did here. One liter, uh, 0.1 liters times one molar, get one, uh, sorry, 0.1 moles of OH minus. Uh, we had 100 milliliters of the base, 50 milliliters of the acid, so 0.15 liters. So the concentration of NO2 minus is the 0.1 divided by 0.15.
which gives us the concentration of NO2 minus to be 0.67 molar. Okay, so this is the only major species in solution, the NO2 minus. That's the only major species in solution at the equivalence point. Okay, and this is always going to be the case for a weak acid with a strong base. Okay, now we use the Kb and the equilibrium equation here for NO2 minus. So NO2 minus reacts with water to produce some HNO2 and OH minus. Initially, there's none of this and none of this. I mean, there is, but it's like an instant that there is none of it, okay? Um, the equilibrium is gonna shift to the right, so you're gonna get negative X, you minus some of this NO2, plus this and plus this. So the equilibrium concentrations, 0.67 minus X, X and X. Plug it into the KB statement, but again, we weren't given the KB. The KB though comes from the KA of the weak acid. Okay, and Ka or Kb is equal to Kw over Ka because remember that Ka times Kb equals Kw for a weak acid and its conjugate base. For anything, it's the acid and its conjugate base, the Kw should always equal Ka times Kb. So we find Kb, 2.5 times 10 to the negative 11th. Plug it into this equation here and solve for x. We can ignore the x the, on the bottom, so we don't have to use the quadratic. You'll never probably use the quadratic for a problem like this. I don't think they'll ever make you do that. So I would just automatically eliminate it and then maybe go back later on and see if um, if that's if 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 you need to use it. But I would never use it at first right off the bat. I would always just do the problem this way. Okay, um, solve for x. But again, remember X is the OH minus concentration. So X equals four times 10 to the negative six. Take the, the negative log of that. Remember though, that's the POH, not the pH. And then once you get the POH, subtract it from 14 and you'll get the pH. And again, at equivalence, all weak acids, titrated with strong bases, will have a, a pH in the basic range. They'll be slightly basic. Always remember that. Okay. I know my explanation is a little sloppy today. Sorry about that. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me, though. Okay, so, so far, again, let's go over it real quick. Um, in the beginning of the titration, when we don't have anything, we use the uh, just the Ka of the weak acid. Just the Ka of the weak acid to figure out the H plus concentration. As soon as we add one drop of KOH, of strong base, now we have a buffer. Okay, we have a buffer. The amount of uh, base we get in the buffer is going to be equal to the amount of OH minus we add. Okay, the amount of acid that we have is the original acid minus how much base we add. Okay, and that's going to remain consistent for, through the whole buffer phase. Okay, at halfway to equivalence, so that means that we've added half as much KOH as we have the weak acid. So the half KOH equals the amount of um, HNO2, or half the HNO2. When we have half, sorry, when we add enough KOH to have half the amount of HNO2, that's halfway to equivalence where pH equals pKa because this acid and base concentration are the same. Half of the original acid has been um, neutralized. Okay, and then you keep going. You're going to keep um, adding base, and the, the same calculation here. The amount of base you have is equal to the amount of KOH you add. The amount of acid you have is the amount of acid you start with minus however much KOH you start you have 
at that point. Okay. Then at equivalence point, equivalence point, that means all of the acid has now reacted and it's all become conjugate base. So the original amount of acid is now conjugate base. But you also have to take into account that you've added some volume. So you have to make sure you change that concentration. Okay. When you're doing the buffer, it does, concentration doesn't really matter. It's just the moles matter. Okay. The only thing that matters is really moles because the concentrations will cancel out. The, the, mol, the liters will cancel out. So it really only matters the number of moles. So you don't actually have to calculate concentration in a buffer situation just the number of moles, moles of acid and moles of base. Okay, then finally, the last part is now we have excess base, excess base. So there's gonna get to a point where we run out of acid to react with the base and now we're just adding base to the solution we're just adding oh minus and that is what's going to dominate the ph so i like to just kind of um think about how much excess milliliters i have now um it's really up to you how you want to do this, but I like to think of it, okay, well, at equ equivalence point was 100 milliliters of KOH. Okay, now how much excess KOH do I have? Well, I have excess of 10 milliliters. They okay, have excess of 10 milliliters. So I have 10 milliliters excess KOH. Okay, times the molarity of the KOH, which is one molar. So 0 0.01 times 1 is 0 0.01. So I have 0 0.01 moles of OH minus. Um, some people like to do the whole thing, like the 110, so 0 0.110 molar KOH, right? And then you subtract or sorry, times, um, times the one molar minus the uh, two molar HNO2 times the 0 0.05. And so you get, let's see, 0 0.110 minus two times 0.05. So you get 0 0.01 moles of OH minus. So you can do the subtraction here, but you get the same thing, right? You get the same thing. It's, I just look at excess, how much excess milliliters of the base do I have? I think it's a little bit easier that way. Once, if you know the equivalence point, if you know the equivalence point. Okay, if they just said, what would the pH be if you add 110 milliliters? of KOH, then maybe you want to look to see. Um, but I don't know, I think it's easier to just look at excess. Okay, so now you have 0 0.01 moles of OH minus. Okay, and that is in a, and then you have to also figure out how many mil, uh, milliliters of solution you have. So you had 110 milliliters of this and 50 milliliters of this. So it's in 160 ml solution. So you have 0 0.01 moles of OH minus in 0 0.16 liters of solution, and that will give you the concentration of OH minus. And if you do the negative log of that, so the POH is equal to, uh, 1.2 that's the pOH so therefore the pH is equal to 12.8 so you see how quickly 
you see how quickly that pH jumps, right? Once you get out of that, once you get past that equivalence point, once you get past the buffer and everything, the pH is going to jump very, very rapidly. Okay, and then we could do it for 150 milliliters, but this time it's you're gonna have 50 milliliters of excess. Times one molar. So you get 0 0.05 moles of OH minus. And that's gonna be in um, so 200 milliliters, so 0 0.2 liters. And the pH for that one, log of so the pH for this one is zero point four, and the pH is thirteen point six. So again, it jumps really quickly. <laughs> 